I like to see animals eating, man, because it's serious business. <laughs> it's crunch time. I'm going to throw this one over here. Oh, snap. Came back to my face. And yeah, they just move around that's with a different That's something I forgot to tell you. Throw downwind. Oh, downwind. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, so you got all I'm that all stuff in here. I got that file for my way. lips. What up, peeps? Tony Baker here in Palmdale, California. And I'm about to link with Ted the Shepherd. I don't know nothing about the shepherd life, man. You know, the only shepherd I know is uh, Christ himself. And I don't even know him personally. He was, he was before my time. But you know what? I'm about to herd some sheep out here, man. Let's go to work. Hello there. Hey. Hi, I'm Chandra. Good morning. Tony, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. I'm Ted. This is Chandra. Tony, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's our pleasure. Oh, it's man. our pleasure. We're looking forward to having some fun today. Okay. We're going to go through a whole bunch of stuff, uh -huh. uh, kind of show you what we do every day. Okay. I've been doing this for about 30 years full time. Chandra's been doing it for about 15. Okay. What she does on the side, she works at the LA Zoo taking care of the California condor. On the side. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's she, quite pretty the fascinating. Side, yeah. <laughs> it's feeding time, so okay. I think we'll probably just head on out and we'll start showing you how we feed every morning. That's the first thing we want to get done is okay. get those animals fed. Oh, we we got to right, eat. So let's head out this way. Man, let me tell you something, man. You got to eat. Get to start the day off right. Oh, yeah. And as soon as they see us coming, they'll probably let us know. Look at look at them. They're going, here they come, oh, wow. here they come. Wow. It's feeding time. Normally what we'll do is they'll be in there. We'll head up to the alfalfa. We'll throw them some alfalfa. And, and then after they're fed, we head over to the chickens. And after we feed and water the chickens, we come down here and feed and water the horses. Okay. And after they're all fed, mm -hmm. then we'll go ahead and start our chores, cleaning up. We like to get everybody fed first okay. before we do chores. That way everybody's so, calm. Yep. Sure. And then after we do our chores, you and I and Chandra get to go have a cappuccino oh, on the wow. porch. Okay. Yeah. And keep the energy up, right? Yeah, you betcha. First off on the sheet, man, they talk a lot. They got a lot to say. It's like a choir out here, man. They was just singing and yelping, whatever noise they made. Ah, and it was like different, it was different vocal ranges. You know what I'm saying? You got tenors in there, altos, you know? It's like, man, they got the whole choir set up. You, you put them in some robes, give them some Fred Hammond, they out here, they gonna lay some tracks down. I'm like, yo, you need to put them in a church. Okay, so we're going to head to the alfalfa now. And okay. uh, real quick before we get there, we, we feed what we call number one alfalfa. There's okay. two types of alfalfa. There's number one, which is the purest form. Mm -hmm. And then there's number two, that's the stuff that's been sitting around for a while maybe and gotten a little bit old and a little funky. That they'll feed the cows because cows can handle that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But sheep have more delicate systems, so they have to eat the better stuff. Oh, so they got so to go with the whole foods you alfalfa betcha. as you opposed betcha. to the 7 -11. That's why we feed the number one. Sit around. And it's exactly. expensive, this whole food. Yes, oh, exactly. I bet it is. <laughs> so it costs us about six to $700 a month just to feed our sheep. Wow. That's all. So if wow. you do that by the year, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money but out here. Farms, we couldn't do man. this business without them. So, okay. so they bringing in the money. As you well. betcha. Okay. They're the money sheep. It's a nice so let's head up to the take. alfalfa and we'll show you the different types and what a bale looks like and so on. Show me the road. We're really popular. It's like a bag of McDonald's over. fries over here. They just going in. You gotta get through the, the waves here. Uh, okay. Uh, and then we just drop them anywhere we can. Okay. Try to spread them out a little bit so spread they're not out. eating next to each other so close. Gotcha. There you go. Toss the other one. Maybe over Get here. Up there. She's waiting. That's good. And now we got to go get three or four more. Listen how quiet. Yeah, it's quiet now. Isn't that you know nice? Saying? All conversations. All you hear is a little bunch, bunch, bunch. Mm, you hear you know, silverware clink. This is Guido, by the way. He's hey. a guardian dog. Guido. He will guard the sheep. He's okay. in the master family. He's bred to live with the sheep and okay. protect them. Is it better to have like a white coat for these type of dogs so the, so, so they blend uh, in the with the sheep can see and they, exactly. they blend in with the sheep okay. exactly. it's a surprise when yeah. the coyotes are uh, so, oh, oh Guido, we didn't know it exactly, was you exactly okay. we didn't know you was here that's Guido, it. we didn't that's know that's it and then they that's go totally off. it and then wow. they split yeah. we just here to rough them up okay <laughs> let's go get some more alfalfa let's get it grab another couple there's one Look at, he's already learning I'm real quick. Awesome. I've been waiting for this. All right, we'll grab one more. 
And that should do it. Okay. So we did two, four, six. This is nine. Eight, nine. Nine bales. Well, they in here grubbing, We're man. just kind of leaving hear, around and. You can hear the sound. And it'll man. take them about a half an hour to finish all this stuff. Okay, I'm going to throw this So you just here. throw it anywhere That's you fine. want. And y'all, y'all just going to eat straight out the bag. Huh? All right. I like to see animals eating, man, because it's serious business. It's crunch time. I'm going to throw this one over here. Oh, snap. It came back to my face. And yeah, they just move around something, with a different That's something I location. forgot to tell you. Throw downwind. Oh, downwind. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, so you got all, all that stuff in I got that alfalfa on my way. lips. Are you eating poop? It's, Nash. Okay. Nash. He's eating poop. <laughs> I think what we'll do is head next to the chickens. Okay. Get them fed. Sounds good. I fed the sheep. I learned about alfalfa, hay. The only experience I had with hay is watching it on westerns and movies where they live on a ranch and they, they pulling out the hay and you know it's a hundred pounds for like a bale of it. I was like, man, you gotta be swole out here. You know? That's why they always in wife beaters and you see them moving the hay around. Even if it's an action hero, he's in the wife beater and they try to recruit him for one last mission and he's got a bale of hay. He's like, I don't work for the government anymore. <laughs> Some days we let the uh, chickens roam all around the property. Mm -hmm. Some days we just keep them in here. Okay. For instance, when we do classes and uh -huh. there's going to be people here, we we'll keep them in their own yard. But on days when we don't have classes, we open this door and they can wander everywhere. Okay. So it's kind of cool. So first thing we'll do is we'll go over here and let the geese out. Go oh, the geese. Shonda will oh. tell you about the geese. Okay. So geese are naturally watchdogs. They, they, they don't go for the face, do they? No, okay. just whatever they can get. Okay. They're typically protective and kind of alert us to oh, anybody. Wow. That's, that's the male. He's coming out ready for work. Hello, mm -hmm. handsome. Let your girls out. Yeah. He's okay with her. Mm -hmm. He is ready. Oh, yeah. Geese are aggressive, man. He likes you when you interact with him, yeah, but as soon as you touch her, it's a problem. Buddy. There's going to be <laughs> right. some conversations and repercussions. The male geese came out on swole. Came out of his little thing, chest first. I was like, oh, all right. You think I can go in? Sure. You try to pet him. I'll, I'll, yeah. Just I'll go slow. Run interference. Go. Just do it. Go slow, but slow. not too slow. Not too slow? Too, too slow is like tentative. So just okay. to do it. Just come in like this. Just, just come in and I'll go down for the chest. Yeah. So I got to go underneath the, the oh, beast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's safe. I mean, I'll walk if he bites. Good boy. Man. Okay. And you just oh. don't want to be tired. Yeah. Mm. I wow. feel every word. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, we can well. so, oh. All right, now I'm not trying to cut the female. No, See what he does. That. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you tear the club up. Right. It's my boy right now. The thing I'm is just you. to not be tentative and show you're comfortable. Yeah, I can't follow his girl on Instagram and like his pics. <laughs> Got it. Head right next door to that door. Let's get it. You'd be a nice girl. Let's see You'd what's nice. going on over here with these chicks. I know, I know. And then just lay the brick up. There you go. And there you go. And, then we just... and they'll be popping out anytime now. Okay. What's happening now? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Look at him. Robust. The males always have to overdo it in the bird. Hey, community. Tony. You see Come on, my we got a outfit. job for you. Huh? We got a job for you. Right, you got over here. It. It's egg collecting time. Oh, okay. Oh, in here with the chicken? Yep. The chickens don't attack me on the egg no. ground? They may fly at you, but don't worry. Okay. Watch your head. There it comes. Okay. And I just grabbed those eggs. Those are fresh eggs. Fresh eggs. And they laid eggs daily. They, every day. Uh, during seasonal, they'll, uh, they'll stop. But right now, they're laying about anywhere from four to six a day. And we have ten hens. Wow. I think there's some on the other side also. I'll get those two? Yep, get okay. all of them. Get all of them. That way we know, you know how old they are. Okay. There's our, our water. Uh -huh. We have to change that. So what we'll do is we always, we don't like to waste water, yeah. so we'll dump it onto the tree. Uh -huh. See, the, the tree is getting in on the benefits. Okay, then I'll grab a hose from over here. Okay. So then we just hold it out. Turn it on first. Okay, you know, that helps sometimes. Wow. So this is basically their little <coughs> community pool, if you will. So you go ahead you and uh, rinse that out. Everybody By the way, our water for. system here is a well. We're uh -huh. not on city water. We have our own well. 
so we pump the water out of the ground ourselves. Wow. So we never run out of water. Oh, nice. Man, this is beautiful. So this That's is good. fine. It's beautiful. Now we'll roll the hose back up. This is where you can go in the zombie apocalypse. I'm coming over here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm like, hey, Ted, uh, the zombie apocalypse happened in LA. I'm coming up. Now we're done here. Uh huh. So now we head to the horses. Okay. Now we still have to clean up later, but right now we're just feeding. Gotcha. Want to get everybody fed. Food is key, man. So we'll close that and we'll head on over. Head on. You gotta have a good back to go in the chicken coop, man. Oh, yeah. Man, I was in there like, yeah. yeah. The eggs. So we'll set those here. Yes. Now the horses, go ahead and peel me off two flakes. Two flakes. Because so, each from horse the good stuff. Uh, yep, each okay. horse is going to get one. Okay. So two flakes. So, so I got to be two flakes this one left off. right there. It looks like two, so okay. just grab them both. Grab them both. Yep. Take the thing off. Now I'll separate them here. Yep. There you go. Look at that. See? And the horse is ready for this. Oh, yeah. He's waiting. This is Iron Man. I am, oh snap, oh. And they love this stuff. Snap. Just throw it in there. I'll throw it in, right? Yep. I'll just hold it down so he doesn't pull it out. And then we head over to do the same thing over here. Iron Man, uh, Tony Stark. Yep, he mm -hmm. came from a riding stable where he was rented out. Okay. So we bought him from there, and now we're just giving him a good life. Beautiful. This one was on the barge to Canada to where it'd be slaughtered for their uh, horse meat. Ooh. We saved her. We got her oh, from a rescue farm thank God, also. man. People really eat horse meat? Oh, yeah. I thought that was all. And animals do, too. So oh. we just leave that in there, and then that's it. All right, now our basic chores are done for feeding. OK, Everybody's feeding is fed, done. Everybody's fed, OK? So now we have two choices. Mm -hmm. Depending on if I slept in a little bit and it's a little later, I may decide to go have a cappuccino now and okay. do my cleanup chores later. Yeah. Or if I'm in a working mood, I may do my cleanup chores now that take yeah. about an hour. Yeah. And then have my coffee. Okay. But right now I'm feeling like I, I need a coffee. Okay. You How need about that, you? You need that picture. Cappuccino me up? time? I mean, I'll, I'll and then, dabble. And then, and then we'll do some chores. I'll dabble in that. It sounds good. Okay. Why don't we do that? Yeah. I'm telling you what, I am a lucky guy. <laughs> it's B Starbucks. I'll tell wow. you that. All right, so we heard you were a vegan, so you just get the espresso. Okay. I get the cappuccino. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. This um, gives you energy, right? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Let's Quickly. see if it works. This is the highlight of the day right here. Cheers. Gotcha. Yes, cheers. Yes. What I do like about cappuccino is the top. Yeah. Oh, Very it looks pretty. so good. Yeah. The froth that foams up. Oh, oh boy, I'm all delicious. about the froth. So this Ooh. is how I like to start the day. All the animals are fed. Whew. It's rather strong, huh? Man, that's... Yeah, but it'll wake you up. Ah. And people do double shots of that stuff. Really? Oh, I don't know how. Fired up. But this is a quiet time for us. Okay. This is when we can sit and talk about what we need to do during the day. Mm -hmm. If there's fencing to fix or there's a new gate to put up or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we just cook strategy. But we'll sit and relax because all the animals have been fed. Okay. Everything's done that way so we can take a breather now. What, what got you into like looking out for dogs like that? Well... It's kind of a long story, but mm -hmm. I'll try to keep it a little short. Give me, but give I, me the, I, can't, uh, I can't help it. You want the long version? Give me the, you know. give me the cliff noted version right. of, um, of your passion. Play. I grew up in New York City. I had a poodle named Gigi. Uh -huh. Put a raincoat and boots on her during the winter, of okay. course. Knew nothing about this. I wanted to go to Cornell University and become a veterinarian. Okay. I've always loved animals. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite make that. Went to Vietnam instead and oh, wow. uh, came back and uh, became a deputy sheriff for a while and then retired from that and got into the dogs. But I got into the dogs only by chance. I had a Bouvier de Flanders. They're a big dog bred to work cattle. Okay. At the time I got him, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So I was having him groomed for a confirmation show like they do in Westminster type thing. Yeah. While I was out in Bakersfield getting him groomed at this ranch, I kept hearing this whistling noise. So I finally asked, after a couple of hours, I asked the groomer, I said, Gail, what is that whistling noise I'm hearing? Yeah. And she said, that's my husband, Kenny. He's working his dog. I didn't know what that meant. Mm -hmm. I literally said, what do you mean working his dog? Because yeah. I grew up in New York City. Right. I didn't know. She goes, well, go watch. And he was whistling these signals to a dog out in the field and the sheep are out there and the dog was moving the sheep wherever he needed them based on the whistle noises. Wow. It blew me away. Yeah. So he said to me, you know that dog you got there is a herding dog. Yeah. I said, I didn't know that. He says, do you want to do an instinct test? An instinct test is where they put the dog in the round pen on sheep uh -huh. and see what it's going to do. 
unlike learned behaviors like agility and fly ball and obedience that we can food train, right. you can't food train a dog to go to sheep. It has to be bred into them. Okay. He passed the test with flying colors. Wow. He loved it. Yeah. I called the show secretary of the show for the next day, uh -huh. said, give my spot away. I'm not doing that anymore. I started driving up from Sherman Oaks to Bakersfield uh -huh. to wow. take lessons to learn how to do it. Wow. One day I decided to rent some property in uh -huh. Tarzana. Word got out that I had some sheep because mm -hmm. I was I didn't want to drive to Bakersfield that often. Right. So I got my sheep and I was practicing all on my own. Uh -huh. I was having a blast. And the phone rang one day. I picked it up and all the gentleman said was, I hear you have sheep. And he goes, well, I'm currently training in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Do you ever rent your sheep out for those of us that are practicing to, to practice on? Right. And I said, sure. I charged him like $15. Uh -huh. He came out, said, can I come every week? Then he says to me, I have two friends that go down there with me. Can they come too? Uh -huh. So I'm doing the math real quick. I go, yeah. 15, 45, 40. That's 180 bucks if these guys come out once a week. Mm -hmm. Heck yes. The next thing I knew, I had so many clients, I had to stop doing what I was doing for work. Yeah. And I got into it full time. And I've been at it now for 25 years. I'm a licensed wow. judge for the American Kennel Club. I fly all over the country judging sheepdog trials. And we currently have about 30 students enrolled in our classes on the weekends. Wow. And this is how I've been making my living ever oh. since. It is absolutely addicting. When yeah. you allow a dog to pursue their instinctual right. drive, you get a happier animal. That's it's fantastic. as simple as that. When you see it later, when we go out yeah. and you watch my dog's face and you watch them working, you'll right. see that there's obvious that they love that doing this. That was made for this. It is. It really oh, is cool. It's very, dope, very addicting. Man. I wish they had something like that for humans. Like, you know, you put us somewhere instinctually, we respond to a certain thing, and we find out what we were meant to do totally. instinctually. Totally. Like, you know, if you're in the, being a banker and you count money instinctually, you're like, oh, I was made to work at Chase. Exactly. Now, <laughs> think of how you'd feel, though, if you weren't able to do that. Yeah. See, what people don't understand is negative behavior in, mm -hmm. an, in an animal, a dog, yeah. sometimes is just frustration. Right. You just think about it. If if you have a working dog, mm. work them. Yeah. You'll have a happier animal. Beautiful. It's as simple as that. That's Doesn't it make sense? That's a message to y'all, man. Work. Yeah. Find what you love to do and work it. Definitely. Work it down to the instinctual, man. I was born to be silly. And guess what? I'm silly for a living. There you go. And before that, I, I was miserable. So I didn't know what to do. Major in psychology? Oh, I was chewing the furniture. <laughs> All right, so you ready to go do some? Oh, absolutely. All right, well, let's finish our drinks and cheers. I think I'm gonna do pretty good in this herding life, man, because I feel like I can do anything. You know, I don't have to be touching nothing too gross or crazy. I think I can, I think I can get people together. I think I can gather the crowd and tell them to move over there. That's pretty much what herding is. Hey, hey, y'all go on over here. Boom, I think I can do that. So what Chandra's showing you right now is uh -huh. our young pup. You notice how he's walking towards the sheep, yeah. and as he gets close to them, they move away. Right. Now, these are school sheep, so their bubble is pretty small, okay. meaning that you they're comfortable close. with the dogs. Okay. Sheep that we trial on and the professionals are live out on the range. Mm -hmm. They just rent them and bring them in, so their bubble is like the size of this arena. Okay. You have to get really far away from them. Gotcha. So they're not used to the dogs. So what she's showing you now is the bubble. See how he's running wide? Yeah. I see how he's coming in behind him mm -hmm. now. Now he's going to slow down and walk the sheep towards her. Wow. It's, it's addicting, I'm telling you. That's I'm going to teach you how to do it, too. Okay. All right? He's responding on her signal. What she's telling him. On where exactly. to go. Exactly. He's not trained to whistle yet. Uh -huh. He's only on verbal commands. Okay. So she's showing him and telling him what she wants him to do. Herding is controlled movement of livestock. Okay. So they're supposed to contain them all and then move them quietly. Wow. And that's what, you see how quiet they are now? Right. They're working off of the dog. They're wow. moving off of the dog. The dog is key. Exactly. And the dog has always been key to, to shepherding? It's totally. Okay. The shepherding is thousands of years old. Because usually Important. they just show the guy with the staff. Exactly. And he, but they Standing leave the there. dog out. Exactly. But the dog is a major the, key. Well, that's what helps move the stock. Okay. Is the dog. Okay. okay? 
So in this case, these are border collies, mm -hmm. bred on the border hills of England and Scotland about 600 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the reason you notice all the dogs here, they stare at the sheep. Yeah. That's because they bred bird dog into them to give them that eye, to, because they realize the way something stares at something uh -huh. can affect the movement of what's being stared at. Okay. So about 400 years ago, they bred bird dog into the border collie mm -hmm. and realized that that stare was very advantageous, so they kept it. So they're the only breed that we know of that has that bird dog stare at the sheep. By the Pretty way, intense. we work cows, sheep, geese, and ducks. Wow. And everything is the same. Yeah. Everything is that same principle of uh -huh. the bubble. Every okay. living thing has a bubble around it. Mm -hmm. And every one of those living things will move away from something that seems threatening. Wow. Lie down. Pretty wow. cool, huh? Isn't wow. that awesome? And now here. you see why they're so valuable. Your sheep are 500 yards out. Right. How are you going to go get them? You got to go get them yourself. Uh, why not sit back and send your dog? Wow. And knowing the whole time he's running, he's going, oh, yeah. Right. Oh, boy, this is fun. He's excited about it. That's the thing. You look at their faces, you know they're having a good time. Yeah. That's what I love about it. That's the key. So if you want, we can go and uh, move into the round pen with some sheep and I'll kind of give you some basics and give okay. you a dog and you can try it yourself and okay. see how it goes. Let's go. All right, so watch me now. Watch how I turn with her. Come by, come by. See how I'm turning with her? Uh-huh. Away. Now I'm gonna turn with her this way, away. Now I'm gonna back up, straight. Put my arm out, make her go the other way. Come by. Come by. This is an extension of your arm. Uh -huh. So watch how we use it. Now watch when I want to stop the dog. I'm going to put it in front of her. Uh -huh. Notice how I'm behind her again. Uh huh. Give it a try. Okay. This is one of those things you just got to give it a try and go for it. There you go. Okay. Just turn with her. Mm -hmm. Keep turning with her. Now back straight away. Go fast, fast, fast. Now put the wand behind her. Whatever way she goes, keep the wand behind her. Keep it behind her, okay. Keep coming. Now work your way this way. Back up this way. Put the wand in your left hand. See how she comes around this way now? Turn with her. Back up. Put the wand in your right hand. See how that changes her direction? Right. Look at you. You need a job? <laughs> He's getting into this. He's getting into this. Look at his face. Serious business out here, guys. You're getting into this. I can tell your face. You're really concentrating. All right, let's go ahead and take a break. We'll call her off. Okay. Go ahead and praise her. Praise her. Brody. That'll do, love. That'll do. Good yeah. dog. Good job. Mm, good work. I know you tired because I am. And I was just doing the backpedal. Pretty cool, eh? Oh, man. I think it's time for you to maybe move to the next arena and okay. maybe try to see how we can get you through some obstacles. See oh, if you so can take obstacle course? You betcha. Oh, man, let's get you betcha. it, man. Brody, that'll do. I was born for this. Those sheep on my skills. Holy moly, or should I say, holy Moses. I said we were sheep herding, but in today's clothes. Oh, this is a... Uh, uh, no, this... we, we don't dress like that anymore. I think we gave that up long, long, long time ago. I thought this was the shepherd's no, outfit. No, no. Now it's blue jeans and boots and t-shirts. I think my, my great Great, 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 great. Somewhere great along the line, grandfather might have wore something like that. That's a long time ago. <laughs> now that's better. That's <laughs> more like it. You like that? All right, let's talk about this challenge we have set okay, up for you. Okay. You did really well up above, so mm -hmm. 
don't let me down now, okay? Oh, the pressure's on. See where the sheep are. Uh -huh. So as we have cones in this area. Okay. I want you to go out, take the dog from Chandra uh -huh. with your crook, and then I want you to take these sheep and I want you to move them over here okay. and come through the cone. You can go either direction and you can lead them through. That's okay. Okay. All right? okay. Then I want you to go all, the tough part's going to be all the way across to the other set of cones. Okay. I want you to do the same thing there. Lead them lead through. Lead them through or push them through. It doesn't okay. matter what you want to do. Okay. Either direction. Okay. okay. And once you're done with that, kind of take them back to the center, uh -huh. and that'll be it. And if you pass, I might offer you a job as an assistant oh. trainer. Okay. Does that sound right? Yeah, yeah. so All I gotta right. lead them to but the promised land. But that means you gotta come out every Sunday. Okay, every Sunday? Yep, right to the promised land, but twice. Twice, I gotta take them out, Exodus. You betcha. And then, and then go to, to the new promised land uh, over there. Let's do it. Man. All right, you got it, let's go. <laughs> Walk. Perfect, perfect, Walk. just like that. Walk. Not too much, yeah, let Walk. her come on around a little bit. Now ask her to keep moving up. Keep backing up yourself. Keep going Walk. to the cones. There you go. Good, good, good. Now flank, now walk through and lead him. Walk through and lead him. That's good, now head across. Flank her around and just back up all the way across. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Now when I tell you flank her, now head down through your cones. Go, go, go. Let her come around. There you go. You just passed. You made them both. Awesome. There you go. Good job. Good job. All right, call your dog off now. Go to her and praise her. Go to her and praise yes. her. Good job. Yes. Good job. Let's go. We always got to praise our working dogs. Oh, yeah. All right. Sure. Yeah. 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 Good, good before, job, right man. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's only one lesson. Man. Then think about that. We have people that come every single Sunday for uh, years. Okay. So think about where you'd be if uh, you decide to get a dog, okay? And uh -huh. if you do, let me know because yeah. I can tell you where to go because okay. you want a good working dog. Right. And think of where you'd be in six months oh, if you man. came here every Sunday. I'd be biblical. You betcha. Yeah. You betcha. I would earn that outfit I had on earlier That's today. right. And maybe then I wouldn't make fun of you. Really? Well, good job. I'm Thank proud you, of you. Man. I'm thirsty, though. Bunch. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. So I think we should uh, go celebrate. Oh, yeah? Um, I don't think you drink wine, do you? But I, I do. I drink water. But we have cold water, Dang. and we have uh, some soft drinks and iced tea, so let's go up and have something cold and refreshing okay. and kick back on the porch and chat about what we did today. Okay. You know there was a shepherd that could turn water into wine. I, 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 I heard about that. The shepherd's a magic and, and, and he was dressed kind of like you were. Yeah. Can you do that? Can you turn uh, water into uh, wine? If you don't look, I can. Okay. <laughs> let's make it happen. All right. Now watch your dog now. Watch your dog. Watch your sheep too. Uh oh. They left me. They're going right to that gate up there. That's beautiful, right? And when they get in that gate, you gotta close the gate, so hurry up. That's it. Use your dog. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Wow! We need him on Sundays! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Awesome! <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah! Oh, look at this, <laughs> Tony, what a treat. This is the unwind magic. This is the guy, nicest right? way to finish up the day. Just okay. sit on the porch, relax, talk about the day's work and what we did and what we accomplished and, and look for, forward for tomorrow. Okay. Do it all over again. Definitely so this is the way to finish. Finish along. I'd day. love to see wine getting poured, man. Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, it's and this is, if you notice, it's from the Agua Dulce Winery. Uh -huh. There's a, a local winery in Agua Dulce from about 20 minutes from here. Check me and out. And it's though. really, really good stuff. Check me out. Yeah. Oh, white wine, uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then you there twist you it. Go. There, there you go. There. That way you don't good. spill a drop. Uh, all right. Well, cheers. Cheers, guys. That was a really cheers. enjoyable day. Um, I, I loved working with you. I thought oh, you did fantastic today. Yeah. Most people the first day out are, mm -hmm. oh boy, it's yeah. pretty it's a lot sad. Of work. <laughs> I was ready to get in yeah, there, man. That's the first time I've ever done that. I've okay. never challenged anybody on the first lesson to pick up the sheep on their own and move them through the obstacle. So kudos. I'm feeling real special right now. There you thank go. you, you so should. much for opening your home to me and uh, the crew and stuff like that and showing me, you know, stuff I knew nothing about. So uh, I, thank you. Well, it's, it was our pleasure, and yeah. hopefully now you know how herding works. Oh yeah, and I can't wait to see your side job. <laughs>
with the conduits. Oh, so yeah, that's next. I want in on that. Next. Next. Okay, what a deal. I'll drink to that. You betcha. I oh. will too. Cheers. Yes. This water is a good year, too. All right, peeps, thanks for watching, man. Look, Ted was able to tap into what his dog was really bred to do. And now his dogs are super happy out here doing what they were made to do. So if you got a dog like that and you want to get it going, bring it down to SoCal Herding down here at the Windy Ranch if you're in the California area, man. And get your dog happy out here doing what they love to do. Everybody want to do what they love to do for a living. Let your dog feel every piece of that as well, man. And uh, hey, hey. We I'm about to shepherd these sheep out here because I'm biblical now. <laughs>